So Disco Cobra comes in. Can we all give him a nice F in chat for the very generous donation? That's very kind of you, sir. I love the color, too. That's very cool. So my cousin just launched a 4070 Ti to his rig. Seems to still be having frame rate issues. Probably a CPU bottleneck. He plays mostly BMG Drive and Sons of the Forest. Getting 60 frames per second. Oh my good lord. Buy Windows 10 Professional for $15, activate instantly online with Microsoft, and keep it forever. Don't pay full price. Get the best deal from our sponsor, URCD Keys, using our link in the video description below. Full details on how this amazing deal works at the end of the video. At the very least, he should drop a 5700X in there. A 5700X is, at best, 20% faster than a 3700X. But it's a single. This is one of those distinctions that doesn't always show up on pure benchmarks. Usability of a machine is different. Thanks, guys, for all the Fs in chat. Y'all are awesome. Straight frame benchmarks don't show up the feeling of using a computer. The 3700X Zen 2 is two four-core CCDs with an Infinity Fabric interlink. It has 32 megabytes of L3 cache, but that is split 16 and 16 between the two. And if Core 7 wants to use the first 16 megs of L3 cache, it has to go across the Infinity Fabric, which is a latency delay, through the chip into the cache. Likewise, if Core 2 needs to use some of the cache over here, it has to go through that link, and then both of them talk to the I.O. die. You really have two four-core chips that are simply glued together. The 5700X Zen 3 is a single eight-core CCD. There is no interconnect. All 32 megabytes of L3 cache on the chip is universally available at full speed and low latency to all eight cores on the chip. In strict benchmarks where the compute is just run, that doesn't always show up. But in the real world, that change made a difference. So if you're getting poor 1% lows and frame rate stutters, going from two four core CCDs in, on a 3700X to a single eight core can clean up your performance more than just average frame rate improvement. Now, a 4070 Ti is a beast of a video card. Even with a 5700X, at 1440p, you might still get some CPU bottlenecks. That's a good video card. But you'll get fewer. Now, you could go with a 5800X 3D, but the problem is not like the price at the moment. That's a lot of money. If you're going to spend $300 on a CPU, just go to a 7800X 3D. I mean, I know you need a new motherboard, but he has an $800 video card. A 7800X 3D would not be crazy for him. But if he wants to just clean things up and fix up his machine, he absolutely should upgrade it. And it's also why I'm not promoting the Ryzen 9 5900X. Now that's actually on sale on New A right now on a Black Friday. It's like 290. I wouldn't spend 290 on a CPU on AM4. If you're gonna spend 300 bucks, go to AM5. I would almost be tempted to, if he, here's the thing. If you've got 4070 Ti money for your video card, the cheap option is to replace your, your, your 3700X with a 5700X. If you want better than that, here, let me come over here to, what do they want for the 5800X 3D? Yeah, it's 320. That doesn't make any sense. This, this makes no sense. This is entirely too much money. Because $40 more buys you a 70. Yes, I know you need a motherboard and RAM and it's a change, but um, what's a 5900X? Yeah. I just can't get there. It should have been, it would have been done already. The Ryzen 9 5900X is 
is 290. I think we're sort of past that. By the way, if you ever wonder why I tell you buy the best chip on the platform, even if it seems silly at the time, check out what 5950Xs are going for. The 5900X will not retain its value. The Ryzen 9 5950X is still being sold for $493. Those will hold their value. It's the best chip that AM4 has. I would tell your friend, and this is linked down in the video description below, and there is a $150 motherboard that you could put this on if you want to down there. So you're looking at $500, which I mean, he may not be wanting to do. It's much cheaper to put a 5700X on. But $369, there's a $10 promo code. That would be going from a 3700X to a 7800X 3D would be a transformative experience. That would be much more of a wow upgrade. See what all you guys think about that. Looking for a Windows 10 or 11 product key, but you don't want to spend $100 to $200 for it? Our sponsor, URCD Keys, provides discounted Windows keys at amazing prices. $15 for Windows 10 Professional, $21 for Windows 11 Professional, and just $60 for Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus. These product keys are the real deal. They activate directly with Microsoft Online, link to your Microsoft account, and they work forever. For Windows, you simply go to Settings, Update and Security, Activation, click Change Product Key, paste the key provided by URCD Keys, and in seconds, you're activated with Microsoft. For Office, go to setup.office.com, sign in with your Microsoft account, paste the product key provided by URCD Keys, and then download Office 2021 Pro Plus directly from Microsoft. Remember to use the discount code TD20 to save 25% off the already deeply discounted prices and support our channel at the same time. We have been using product keys from URCD Keys for almost five years now without any issues and encourage you to do so as well. It's a CyberPower 2020 rig. I got when the 30 series was launching. It's got some older stuff. I don't know if he can afford a whole new rig. He did say it runs games way smoother though from the 2020, 2070 Super. Well, yeah, the, his video card is a massive upgrade. If he cannot afford, well, he doesn't have to replace the whole rig. If it's a 2020 disco, if it's if it's a 2020 build, then he probably doesn't need a whole new rig. His power supply, his case, his cooler. If he has a 3700X, his cooler's probably fine. Although he might need a, an adapter bracket. He'd be looking at $500 for a motherboard and a CPU and a minimum of 80 bucks for the RAM if he goes 32. I, I vote 64, but you know, he can do what he wants. So he's looking at 600 maybe $650. Let me make a poll in chat. See what you guys think. If he doesn't have the budget, he doesn't have the budget. $170 will give him a decent, not mind-blowing, but a decent improvement. $170 is the 5700X. It's linked in the video description below. Um, he can sell his 3700X for about 100, maybe 110. He's looking at a $60 upgrade. What upgrade should Disco's friend do? 5700X for 170 and be happy with it. 7800X 3D for 650 and go big. Something else. It very, very, very much just depends on his budget and how much he wants to mess with it because the, the 5700X is a five minute upgrade. But he did buy a very expensive video card. <laughs> I 
No precursor. It's two uh, three hundred and twenty dollars. It's, it's precursor says get the fifty eight hundred X three D. If it were two twenty, sure. You do not spend three hundred and twenty dollars for a fifty eight hundred X three D in November of twenty twenty two. When a 7800X3D, and yeah, I know you need a new motherboard and RAM, but the difference is worth it. The difference is worth it. Sell the GPU.